guys and uh, welcome to play of the J here. We got some good PUBG scrim action for you tonight. It's going to be the um, the Physrix Gaming Invitational PUBG scrim. So we have some of the best teams here in Malaysia willing to duke it out here. And we're just about ready to get ready for Erangale. So let's get into the game. All right, guys, so we will be having uh, our very first round here on Erangel. And for our first round, we do actually have um, only 16 teams here available. So uh, I think some of the other teams didn't have enough players to play and participate tonight. But no worries, we'll still have some great action for you this evening. And uh, we do have uh, our team list included in the video description. So if you're not sure which team, uh, or rather your favorite team, you're, you're trying to follow throughout this, please do have a look in the description. It's all down there. And um, just to introduce the teams while we get ready for, or rather the teams are dropping in here. Team one is gonna be Battle Arena Elites, Physrix Esports, Physrix Gaming, Frostfire, Flash Vision Esports, Gang FDY, Gaventure, Geek Fam, Genius Team, Gold Army Factory, Lemon Gaming Gold, um, MBT Minon Copy Job, ONE Esports, Quacker, Red Sea Esports, uh, Silver Wolves Not Here, uh, Stage Gaming, Stadium Fighter Malaysia, The Face Gaming, and Vengeance. So, uh, yeah, we do have some teams that are not here. I think that uh, both Silver Wolves and uh, Battle Arena Elites are there, are not here, unfortunately. And I think we do also have a couple of other teams not able to participate. Genius Team, I think, is one of them. We'll flesh out the rest as we go along. But looks like Adventure here going to be very happy having the whole of uh, South Georgia themselves. But already here for round number one, we're in for a crazy circle. It's going all the way down here to Sosnovka Island. So everyone's going to have to really rethink what is their potential game plans here. Currently only Team Quacker, the usual suspects to occupy. So Snovka military base is going to be hanging out there. Frostfire going to go back to Milta here after dropping quite a lot of times in the, especially last week where they did drop, uh, I think, um, twice into Yasnaya. So that's uh, uh, some, them changing things up a little bit. But yeah, Milta, of course, is a bit more of their home region here. But we do have Fister Esports here mingling very close to GeekFam. GeekFam going for the spread around the prison and mansion area. And currently, Jang's going to be all by himself here. He does have Dinosaur and Loopy to be a little bit careful of here in the prison complex. But we can already see that there is some roadkill action very early on here. Fister uh, gaming here going at it with vengeance and it looks like vengeance as well as uh physrix gaming here both have their players knocked out i think the first one was uh, a, a knock from the road kill there but jay muse here looks like he's going to come to the rescue get his teammate up and finish off that physrix gaming player so jay-z jay-z unfortunately going to be getting the short stick of this deal here but uh, he's still going to have the rest of his team to still deal with the rest of uh, what's going on here. As Mock's going to get a little bit of revenge from getting knocked down, if not mistaken, there. And this whole Fairy Pier section should be Vengeance's to control. As uh, they don't have that far to go here to rotate into the military island here. But uh, we do have... Uh, uh, stage gaming going to Lipovka here and uh, we do have quite a few teams all just hanging out here in the time being But right now dinosaur here I think he has spotted out Jang's just a little bit here and is actually just going to try and see whether or not he can continue looting here a little bit more I think loopy is going to know very well from his teammate that Jang's is going to be in the proximity So they're just going to have to play a little bit carefully here But Jang's looks as though that he might have Spotted Dinosaur, but not able to land the shots just yet here. And he's going to maybe rotate around to other windows here. See whether he can get some lucky shots. Currently, he's a bit outnumbered. The rest of Geek Fam currently a little bit more spread out here. So they might not be able to come and assist him just yet. And of course, since we only had 16 teams starting the round number one here, it does give teams a lot more space than they would normally have. And uh, should be able to uh, rotate a little bit easier. Now, of course, Milta region here does look as though it could potentially get quite crowded here. Uh, as, um, there's going to be a lot of teams deciding how's the best way for them to actually rotate down towards the island here. And uh, for, for the time being here, Janks, oh, getting a nice nade out onto Dinosaur here. And looks like Loopy really going to have to come very far to try and deal with this. But currently, Janks is just going to be moving up here to try and get towards his... Uh, 
or rather get towards confirming his kill for the time being. Modi coming in here also to see what he can do. Now he does have that high ground, so he should be able to spot out Loopy. I think he hasn't seen him just yet. He's at the bottom of the screen in that house. So now it's Loopy that needs to play a little bit uh, cautiously here as he doesn't want to put Fisher Esports down too far here in round number one. Now, just a recap for everyone, there was massive games uh, that took place last week in round three. So um, this is going to be, um, or rather the Fisheric Invitational PUBG scrims is very much going to be about uh, playing four different uh, scrim days here. So the points will be accumulated and from that they will name a winner after all the rounds of play here. So just looking at the recent results that was already shared. Um, I do think that uh, basically Frostfire after having that monstrous performance there in uh, last week's games they took three chicken dinners from that and really looked like they were playing very solidly. Now they're looking to continue that and see whether they can continue um, leading the pack here. They're actually at 3,475 points followed closely by Gaventure Geek Fam and Minnow Copy Jap there for the top four spots. But uh, yeah, do have a look at the Fizzard Gaming uh, Facebook page if you do want to try and see what is the current uh, points totals here. But uh, for the most part here, Frostfire should be quite comfortable. They have already decided to make an early transition here and looks as though they're going to be very much occupying the that eastern bridge here to Sosnovka Island. So that could be very much in their favor should all these other teams here decide to push through. But of course, these teams can play it a bit slow. Gang FTY not crossing over to the other side just yet here. And uh, probably going to be taking their time just because the circle is still covering that south uh, eastern por portion of the map here. There is going to be quite a few teams here. ONE Esports here, all the way down uh, and south from the Milton Power region here. There's going to be the face gaming here, looting up in the very characteristic spot here. But now Loopy looks as though that he's getting in for um, quite a little bit of a outnumbered situation right here. As Ken Kenny's going to be able to get the knock there and uh, confirm the kill as well. But there's only going to be actually those two. Fisher Esports players here that uh, was going to actually have any kind of presence. Kongso is still around here on the high ground, but with three Geek Fan members here, I'm not sure what he can do. Probably also needs to think about his rotation, how he's going to be getting into the zone. But uh, for the most part, looks like other teams here already coming up with their own strategies. Quacker here already disengaging from the mil military base here and going a bit further north as uh, they're going for an early loot drop and now Frostfire spots out the team members of Minion Copy Jump trying to meet up with K-Bytes on the island here and taking a little bit of damage here but uh, looks like uh, RX taking too many uh, shots at once they're going to be able to get through just fine here so Grizzum here going to be backing up on the south side of the bridge here while the rest of the the Frostfire boys are going to be starting to converge onto his position just yet uh, but now looks like uh, there could be some problems here as uh, ONE Esports here going for the boat here but she able to spot them moving out from th to this position here so you might be able to pick them off here there's not much that they can do here Supak Joy taking quite a bit of damage here and looks like Rascal and Chi here going to get on the board early here for face gaming taking down two of the ONE Esports players. So a bit unfortunate for them. They're already down on players here in the early stages. But now looks like um, Zach and the rest of uh, the face gaming here are going to be taking those boats and getting onto the military island here. But elsewhere, we do see that other teams here starting to make their way over. We see that Gaventure moving in all the way from South George, we're using that Western coast here, trying to avoid as much uh, problems as possible. Lemon, give me gold here. Opting to use the Western Bridge here should be in for a very smooth sailing. Not many teams opting to um, hang around and bridge camp right now. Even we see uh, Frostfire opting to go for that very early position here. Now Quacker is actually going for the same spot at the moment here. Try and get right in the center of the circle, which happens to be on the highest ground that we have on this side of the map here. But it looks like Remax is any here. Going to give them a little bit of a surprise and recoils gets taken down here. Now, looks like they are starting to push up, but uh, the rest of Quacker here starting to go back down here. And it's, uh, they really do not want to fight into this. I didn't think that, or rather, I don't think that they realized the danger that was going to be already waiting for them here on top of the hill. So they're going to back out. Forzen here, actually with no vehicle at the moment here, he's going to be left running on foot as Adol and Teddy are going to be rolling down the hill here and see what else that they can do. But 
now it looks like Gold Army Factory here are going to be happy in Novo. Uh, still going to be very much in the circle. They can loot up to their heart's content here. But now it looks like Avenger already in the blue here. Putting up some of those long range shots there. Onto Physrix Gaming as they're trying to get away on that boat. And make that tr long transition towards Sosnoka Island here. Now should be able to get away here. But uh, there's only going to be one of them here. Side is moving a little bit further behind uh, X Fang and the rest of Physics Gaming here, but they should be able to get onto a good beachhead. Vengeance here, excuse me, also able to get down south here. So now, uh, looking at how things are going here, we will be seeing that uh, most of the other teams here have managed to make their way in. Gang FTY is still south of farm here for the time being as they uh, really do not want to have to deal with too much uh, of potential issues going on over here but looks like face gaming here going to be going all the way down to the southern part of the island here for the time being but uh Gaventure here looks like they managed to secure a boat themselves physics esports moving in after they lost two of their early players here and gonna have to see how they want to try and manage the situation a little bit later on But uh, now from the looks of it, Teddy here already spotting out where the Minocopy Jout players went. Now they did shoot at them a little bit after they were making the transition over the over the channel, in fact. But looks like they are going to use as much of that cover as possible. But with this kind of height advantage that uh, Frostfire has here, they can easily plot out exactly where all the opposing teams are coming. And as phase one of the circle here is almost finishing, they, it's going to be very useful for them, especially if they need to make... Um, a rather substantial rotation depending on how the the circle here is going to be uh going about it here but we'll see how that is going to be shaping up a little bit more here red sea opting to go down the western bridge here um uh, probably the route less traveled here as uh, probably a lot of teams would be expecting there would be some sort of bridge camp going on here or towards this town here now it looks like circle here is going to shift a little bit here i'm not sure whether or not that frostfire still wants to maintain their position but skyrex going to get a nice headshot there onto revax here now he was the clutch player therefore frostfire in uh last week's games there as he stayed alive in all three of the wins that frostfire did have but Frostfire, they should be able to get the res off there. Not sure if they can get another helmet up there. They have to be a little bit on the lucky side. But they have to come down most likely anyways here. As Frostfire, I do tend to see them play a little bit more close to the center of the circle here. Right now, there's only Minimum Copy Jump going to be hanging out here. But now Frostfire here does have the whole of Geek Fam here. Moving very close here. Mr. Pa might have some good shots there. But he's actually running out of the open. Geek Fam put him off the try and run him over but that does run the risk of getting a little bit too close and Xavier's got almost no HP left he's actually gotten out of the vehicle here to try and get the heal off for the time being now the fair flash kitchen here can move up here and really do what they can to try and uh, move in on this particular area see whether they can claim that early kill Xavier gonna pop off the full heal here and see whether or not he can get back into a bit more of a safe territory here. He's not going to be able to go for his vehicle. It did take a little bit of damage there and moving from that static start there is not going to help him in the slightest. So he's going to find his own way over while the rest of Geek Fam here probably going to be taking um, that long route here down to the western bridge here. Now everyone else is starting to make their way over as well. Gang FUY is starting to slowly move towards the, the bridge side here and just assess whether or not there's going to be anyone bridge camping here before they decide to commit and traverse across the channel. Uh, but now everyone else here is sort of not really vying for that very central positions here just because of the nature of the circle we do see that um, teams will be thrown off a little bit by their rotation phases here if it does go to one of the islands here as uh, tend to do see that um, teams will be piling into the center of the circle here of course there are different ways about going about uh, playing things a little bit but uh, we will be seeing how that is going to be shaping up here as currently these are some of the top teams here in Malaysia for PUBG and they can both be playing in that very central spot in the circle and also playing on the periphery so variety of uh, play styles amongst these different teams here and of course being able to adapt and choose different methods here as and when is necessary is the key to victory now looking at things here Gold Army Factory spotted out by Frostfire already here trying to put up some parting shots there and uh, just see whether or not they can get some lucky hits but it's going to be merely chip damage here especially for Gold Army Factory they do already have that uh, spot 
in Novo. So they can opt to loot a little bit more, just that they won't be very central in the circle. They're currently on the edges for the time being. Gang FDY making their way across the bridge here, and now others are trying to find their own positions inside the circle. Face Gaming here, after making Beachhead here on the southeastern side here, just going to be traversing a little bit further inside the island. Now, looks like almost everyone else has found some decent spots here, but now looks like Frostfire has spotted out Gang FTY as uh, they're getting out of their... Well, at least one of them is getting out of the vehicles there and uh, managing to avoid taking too much damage here in this early start of the game there. But uh, in any case here, it does look like they are going to continue looking around for what might be a decent spot here. They're actually moving very close to all these noble buildings here. Now, they do have enough cover there for the time being, but they do also have Gold Army Factory that they have to be a little bit mindful of. But everyone else is still very much coming in the circle. The two Physics Esport players here also making their way in. Physics Gaming still seeming as though that they've been traveling quite some time here along the edges. Now, they should be able to get onto the, the land no problem here as uh, currently there's not going to be a lot of pressure coming their way. Face Gaming going to be a little bit further uphill here and uh, probably just going to be biding their time waiting to see how the next circle is going to be shifting up and looks like circle here going to shift back towards the eastern side here. Gang FTY and Gold Army Factory probably going to be very happy with that. Uh, probably going to see Minot Copy Jab traverse a little bit more but looks like Gang FTY might be going for that very central compound at the junction here and offer themselves that uh, good position inside the center of the circle. Currently just not a lot of teams around here at the moment. It looks like uh, Geek Fam here still going to be very far away from the circle for the time being here. Savior also managing to find his own way down towards the island but Minot Copy Jab trying to put pressure on the Lemon giving goals. Arabics here taking quite a few hits there. He only has that little tree there to try and deal with this pressure that's coming out from K-Bytes and the rest of Minocopy Jap. But for the time being, going to be able to pop off that heal. Now, we can already see that Minocopy Jap already starting to spread the field here. They're getting a lot of angles there. So if the Lemon Gimme Gold guys stay too static, they could be in a little bit of trouble there. But Rosox D here getting M249 from that nice loot crate here. But they do have Red Sea that they have to be a little bit mindful of. They are starting to come up onto this position. They've disembarked from their vehicles and uh, going to be using that to the fullest of their advantage, hopefully, here. But, uh, of course, they do also have other that they have to worry about also on the high ground in the name of Minokopi Jap. Now, GeekFam moving in from the south from the northwestern side here, but down from the main island here, we're finally going to see Flash Vision making their presence felt here. Flip Face Gaming going to rotate a little bit further to the south side of the circle. Stage Gaming, Physics Gaming, and also the Vengeance players here could make it a little bit more difficult. Minocopy Jap already deciding to move out just a little bit more here. But it looks like Frostfire really likes this position very much so that they are willing to stay up here. Now, looks like... Uh, well, I'm not sure if the trees are rendering on their PCs, but uh, definitely for mine, it's uh, not showing here. So, uh, interesting to see. But for the most part, I think it's still really far away. It won't be able to do an awful lot of damage here. But again, it's just making their presence felt. And they're definitely going to be knowing exactly where all these teams are. But looks like they haven't had to really push down from that high ground at all just yet. But now Mr. Pa and the rest of Flash Vision here starting to make their way across the bridge here. I think they spotted out Gang FTY at the building at the junction here. Line Desert taking a couple of hits there and M0 gonna land the headshot there on Mr. Pa. And uh, that's one helmet that he's not gonna be able to get back on this bridge should, unless uh, Flash, not Flash, Physics Esports decides to move over there, but in the southern side of the circle, this is where things are starting to get a little bit more congested. Just over the 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 crest of the road here is going to be the, all the face gaming guys here. They are all moving into position here, trying to see whether or not that they can spot out any of the Vengeance players that are going to come just over the hill here. But uh, for now, it looks like only Hydrex Man going to be moving over across the bridge here. And Zach not looking in that direction here. He's not going to be able to spot them just yet here. But um, there's still going to be Physics Gaming as well. That uh, we'll have to see how they're going to be maneuvering through these pastures. But for the most part, Mune, Mox, and Hydrex Man going to be getting across just okay here. But Mune going to spot out one of the face gaming players right now. And he's going to back up just a little bit here. As now they are aware of their presence. Zach going to just try and scope out a bit more, get the information on that position here and see whether or not he can get into a better position. But Red Sea also spotting out Gaventure running through the military base right now, but for the time being, not 
uh, able to land too many shots, but they are taking blue damage here already. But Mune is going to get on the board as uh, he's able to take down uh, Rascal here. And uh, now it looks like face gaming here going to have to try and back a bit further down the hill here. See whether they can get the res off all right here. As Circle is not too far away from them. Uh, well, relatively speaking, they don't have that far to go here to continue making it into the center of the circle. Seraphim here going to be looking to see if he can land any shots towards Vengeance here and try and reduce some of the pressure that they're receiving here. But currently both teams here do have to make the, there's the same kind of route uh, to try and get inside, but Vengeance does have a little bit more high ground to work with here, as currently they're spreading out the field here and getting a few more angles available to them, but Physrix Gaming here starting to move in towards their backside and uh, trying to put up some shots that are not able to take down any of the Vengeance players here. Now remember, they are looking for maybe a little bit of payback there after taking down Jay-Z. Jay-Z, the early game by Hydrax, man, going to get the shot onto Awad here. And uh, now looks like Sage Gaming comes and surprises the whole of Physrix Gaming and backstabs them as they continue with their pursuit. But looks like um, Face Gaming here going to use that opportunity to back out and get inside the circle here. But Sage Gaming spotting out Gold Army Factory trying to make the rotation through the zone. But now Frostfire is putting some shots up there from the high ground. Teddy taking down Wilkes and... Uh, it's going to be a very difficult for a position for a Sage Gaming to hold here. They do have Vengeance starting to push into them. They are chucking out their nades here into the smoke. Trying to see what they can do here. But Sim M here going to take down J Muse. And uh, now looks like Gold Army Factory here also moving behind the zone here inside the blue here. Mox is going to be up here, but it's really tight here. I don't know what he can do. There's a lot of Sage Gaming players here all trying to do what they can, but Mune relieving some of that pressure, taking down Sim M. He didn't have a lot of cover there, and now he's a little bit exposed, but Kit's Young here taking quite a few hits, and Mune is going to be able to get him down as well. And looks like uh, Young going to be taken down by Mox, and looks like Sage Gaming is going to be out in 15th position here. And uh, now it looks like uh, we're having all the teams here fully making their moves inside the circle here. The northern, northwestern side things are getting a little bit dicey here. As uh, we have Geekman moving in a little bit later on here. And now we are, are going to be seeing that middle copy Jap going to be trying to posture around a little bit. They do have the zone here, so they do have good position to try and just gatekeep a little bit on the Geek Fam guys here as they do have to rotate quite significantly to try and get inside the circle. But currently they're holding their lines here. If Xavier able to land the shot there onto Darkus now, right now. But Rosex D here and the rest of Minnow Copy Jump are spreading the field, getting enough angles to work with here and prevent further advancement without being uh, exposed too greatly here for the time being and now they are protected from the high ground that Frostfire currently is on, over there putting pressure onto a lot of the teams in the surrounding areas but now Kenny and the rest of Geek Fam here gonna try and move up see what they can do Esco Rex and Rosox D there might be in view there Kenny here and he's Manages to mow down Rosex D, but not before Janks is mowed down by Darkus here. Now, looks like the rest won't be coming here as uh, Kenny wasn't able to get that smoke up here in time. But he's going to back down a little bit here and see what else he can do. K-Bite's going to be working on that left side. He takes out Xavier there. And now he's only got... Um, Three more, two more of the Geek Fan players to worry about and currently they are putting up that pressure but looks like Frostfire going to be able to finish off Vengeance there coming in late from the circle here as uh, they were really not that much that they could do there as it was a very difficult position but now Coventure has spotted out the face gaming here they are trying to move up that high ground and uh, it does give them a little bit of uh, terrain to work with here but again just not in a very comfortable position as currently we see Lemon Gaming Goal coming down here. It looks like NJRX going to get knocked down by Cerebix. And Nura and Chilrex going to be hanging out there on the low ground here for the time being. As, uh, oh, it looks like the nade there from Shaz is good. And Chilrex goes down here. And now looks like the whole Lemon Gaming Gold is moving in. But Nura does have some uh, good angles there to work with. And it uh, looks like... Um, let me give me gold here. Going to be able to finish that one off. Sorry, uh, unfortunately, my camera didn't go where I wanted to there. And I wasn't able to catch that. But looks like Adventure here. Going to get eliminated here in round number one. And now Rosex D is back up here. As uh, currently Modi and Kenny still trying to fight their way closer into the circle. Circle here. Shifting again towards this eastern side here. So now going to be a little bit more difficult. Frostfire putting up a lot of long range fire into the smoke here. And trying to 
put pressure onto Face Gaming, Lemon Gaming Goal, and also onto Quacker. Skyrex getting knocked down right there. And KMF1, the last player left there for Goal Army Factory, he's going to have to try and do what he can there at the meantime. But it uh, looks like Face Gaming here having to separate a little bit here just to try and get inside the circle. Flash Vision also looks as though they might be able to get a uh, Minocopy Jump for a change here. So Minocopy Jump also trying to make their way over into a little bit of a better position here and see whether or not that they can spot out any of uh, the, these good opportunities to take a spot inside the circle here. But Red Sea here, it looks like they're going to put the finishing touches there onto Shots and Cerebix there, as uh, they did hear the commotion that went on just now. So Red Sea looking good here with three players left here in this game, but Hahogus taking some long-range fire. But it looks like uh, this high ground advantage there for Frostfire is really working wonders for them. They are really halting the advance there from the face gaming. They really just can't get inside the zone too easily right now. And it looks like Red Sea going to be spotted out as well from uh, long range here. As uh, currently Grissom trying to spot out a little bit more, but looks like K-Bytes and uh, the rest of... Uh, Mineral Copy Jump here, gonna put the finishing touches there onto Marty, and now there's only gonna be Kenny that's left here using smoke there as long as he can, but there's not gonna be so much that he can do. He's tanking blue damage there as he tries to escape getting killed right now. But Forzen now putting pressure back onto them as currently Quacker here is gonna be occupying the, the command center structures here for the time being as uh, the, the Minocopy Jump players only have a few trees to work with and the uh, angles could be really out of their favor here depending on how involved some of these other teams are going to be getting here but Forzen here not able to do too much there. Oh, he's able to shoot the foot there on Esco Rex but not doing too much more. But we do have Red Sea starting to push in towards this command center area here. As currently there's going to be three of the face gaming players here. Line pro next to the fence line here. And they're going to have to just play a little bit carefully. They are all inside the zone for the time being. And they're going to probably leave it at that for now until they hear more. But both of these teams here can hear Quacker going at it here. As uh, now looks like Circle here going to be shifting away from the high ground. Frostfire going to have to come up with a different strategy here to try and uh, deal with the situation. But looks like Sarah being rep or rather Zach here going to get taken down by Teddy there. Able to see just a little bit of the head there. And now we have to see whether Red Sea are going to try and capitalize this. Currently they are still on this lower ground here. I think they don't realize that there's actually going to be another team going to be hanging out here as they did not open fire at all. So Chi and Seraphim here are going to have to try and do the work. Well, Circle going to start closing here and all these teams here will have to make their moves. Now while Frostfire does need a good position here to get into, they do also need to... Uh, see whether they can put more pressure onto all these teams. They already have seven kills in this game. Currently, Teddy is having a great one from that high ground here. And now they're going to put pressure on a Minocopy Jump as they're trying to move in from that western side of the circle. But they don't have that, that far to go here. Probably they can afford to wait longer while Crossfire are trying to, to get out from this. But looks like base gaming here going at it here. But looks like Red Sea going to be able to catch Chi and... Uh, Sarah Veen out here as they're moving in, but now looks like Quacker very uh, aware of their presence. And Nades are flying in here. Forzen coming up big there, taking down Papa Zayed here. Now, Joku gonna go for the rest here. How was just trying to scope out a little bit more, see what he could do. I think Skyrex has managed to spot him out just a little bit, but uh, they are gonna be maintaining that uh, three player squad strength for now. Frostfire gonna make their late rotation here. And MFP here actually trying to do his work right there, but he's gonna get caught out by Grizzom moving down on foot here on the lower ground. But now it looks like we're down to eight teams left here in this round number one. And now it looks like Uplook's gonna be moving in here together with Frozen continue to put pressure. They do have a little bit of space inside the zone here. And it looks like k here are going to take down two of the Red Sea players there. There's only going to be Papa Zayat left here to try and manage it. But it looks like Minocopy Jap are in a strong position themselves. They have all four players still alive. Six kills on the board here. And now Quacker are going to be stuck inside this compound for a little bit. Uh, so they're going to have to hope that they don't have to move too far to try and get inside the zone. Gang FTY still with four players left after moving in 
or they're still kind of in the junction side of things here. So they do have quite a safe position for the time being. But now we do see that Red Sea here trying to move in here as uh, we do see Papa Zayed here taking down Skyrex here. Not able to take down Aplux there. And looks like Quacker should be able to maintain the three players they have up left. But uh, Skyrex does need to crawl in a little bit faster here. But it uh, looks like not going to be able to do it. Aplux actually taking a lot of blue damage here and uh, didn't actually loot up his teammate fast enough, unfortunately. And now he's going to have to crawl in, but I think that the blue zone is going to finish him off here. And looks like Quacker, just like that, is reduced down to one player left. But now it looks like we only have six teams left to duke it out here. And Lo Circle here going to be in the middle of nowhere. And all these teams here really going to have to start giving up some of their positions here. But Darka's getting some nice shots there on the Grizzom after he was trying to come down from the roadside. There's not a lot of cover there on that high ground. There's all going to be a lot of slopes there to work with. And now Frostfire are going to be cut down in terms of their squad numbers here. So we'll have to see whether or not they can maintain getting the first round chicken dinner here two weeks in a row. But now it looks like Adul and Teddy are going to have to carry the flag there as the last two members. Now Gang FTY have been zeroed in by Flash Vision, but they have the advantage of not being, uh, or rather not needing to move in too too soon here as uh, they're much closer to the zone but really the zone is going to be in the middle of nowhere here so it's really going to be an absolute nightmare for some of these teams to make these rotations Minokwa Picha moving in very close to the edge here now I think they're just trying to see whether they can spot out any of the players from the high ground from Frostfire and looks like um, Forzen here landing some of those long range shots Esco Rex going to try and get in but Forzen here going to be taking some blue damage here himself as now we're going to see Rosen C coming up here and put those finishing touches getting the headshot there onto Forzen there and now we can see that there's only going to be the five teams left remaining here it looks like Physrix Esports moving in here Gongzo here able to take down Bonlicious and Bonlicious going to be eating some dirt right there as there's only going to be three of, or I think two of the players there from Flash Vision for the time being Hickey also taking a lot of damage there from uh, Teddy Mon there and now Teddy Mon moving in a little bit closer here, but he's going to get shot towards the back, but looks like Bunny Hop there going to be contributing quite substantially there. And that's it going to be it there for Physics Gaming here. Now looks like Gang FTY spotting out Flash Vision as well. They are starting to move inside the zone. Looks like M0 going to be moving in here with the vehicle here as k is trying to put some shots onto him, but looks like he's going to be able to get into that position, get some good solid cover going here, but he does have Frostfire a little bit further up here, but Rampage there for Minokopi Jap here, and uh, they're going on a, a killing spree according to the game. So yeah, still takes some getting used to seeing that in this game here, but it looks like Dankirk here taking quite a few hits there from k Bites. they're able to take him down, and Darko's actually going to take him taken down by the blue zone here, Gang FUY trying to make this solid push inside here, but they are going to be under a lot of pressure here, as currently Crossfire does have a little bit of those dips there to work with here, but now Adul moving in here to see whether he can put some shots onto them, but looks like M0 going to take him down, and looks like Gang FTY going to only have these two players left, but now it looks like Teddy has been spotted out, but Minokopi Jap does have the strength in their numbers right now. And uh, they still have these three players left up here. 12 kills on the board. Adul is going to get finished off here. And now it's only going to be two players from Gang FUY. And uh, one player left from uh, Crossfire here. But looks like Ataro here going to get taken off. And now there's only going to be those two solo squad members here for the time being. And now Teddy is going to be aware of M0 all right over the top here. And it looks like he's going to finish it. So Frostfire going to get in the top two here. And uh, now Teddy will really have to go to work to try and finish this off. But K-Bites here going to get some good shots there in that direction. And now Rosex D going to be well aware where Teddy is here. Minokopi Jop starting to push in here. They are looking for that 14th kill here to finish off round number one. But Teddy is going to take him down there. And now he's got this one or two situation here. Esco Rex going to be popping up over the top here. And uh, Teddy going to be able to get that kill right there. Esco Rex taking a few hits himself there. But looks like he's going to be able to take um, Teddy down even faster there. And that's going to be there, you know. So that's going to be it here. And uh, 
Yeah, I do um, think that uh, that was going to be a very good first round here. K-Bite's going to lead the way here with the six kills. Three kills apiece there from Esco Rex and Darkus and Rosaxti chipping in with two. Frostfire coming in in second place here. Not able to get that first chicken dinner like they did in the last two weeks there. But Teddy going to be getting seven kills on the board. And points are at stake here in these scrims. So uh, at the end of today's rounds, we will be seeing who is going to be the overall winner. Third place going to be Gang FTY and M0 going to be getting two kills in that one. And uh, in fourth place, we are going to have Flash Vision Teddy Mon leading the way with two kills. And in fifth place, we are going to be having Physics Gaming. So guys, that's going to be it here for round number one. So I hope you're enjoying the stream. Thank you very much for all the shares and likes. And we'll be taking a short break here. And when we return, we'll be coming to Miramar for round number two of the Physics Invitational PUBG Scrims.